This AI tool I'm about to show you is honestly insane. And the fact that it can make some of the hardest and most complex creations so easy that even a six-year-old can make them feels unrealistic. Oh, well, what do we have here? Some zesty dancing guy? I mean, really? Is that how they dance now? I'm talking about 3D modeling. For those who work in the 3D field, you know how hard and time-consuming it is to make a 3D model like this. It probably takes at least seven hours. I know this because I've used tools like Blender to create 3D models, and trust me, it's super hard. So I recently came across this AI tool called Meshi AI, and I have been using it for some of my projects. What I realized was that this tool is a game changer. That's why I decided to make a review video of this tool to showcase how amazing this tool is for 3D designers. The crazy thing is that with this tool, you can enter into some of the hardest and skill-intensive fields, such as 3D film production, game development, 3D rendering, and interior designing. So yeah, this is a huge deal. For example, let's say you have an idea of a fantasy character for your upcoming gaming project. All you need to do is simply explain what you want under this text to a 3D artist. Now here, I want to create a 3D character. I was recently playing a game called Bloodborne, and this character that I'm gonna create is inspired by it. So, as you can see here, the prompt I'm using is very simple. 3D dark fantasy character in a Victorian Gothic outfit holding a curved sword. Dark colors, serious expression, neutral background. The result I got is this. This looks amazing. So let's try some more creations. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this AI so that you don't have to waste credits on experimenting. Now we have four main features. Image to 3D. With this, you can literally convert your 2D images to 3D objects. Then we have text to 3D, the feature that we just used. And we have text to image and 3D to video feature, which means you can animate your 3D character. Isn't that amazing? So first, I'm gonna show you how these images of 3D features work. I have this image of a car, so let's convert it into a 3D model. I'm just gonna upload this image here. Okay, we have the Meshi AI model. Of course, I'm gonna go with the latest model, which is Meshi 6. And let's generate this model. It took several seconds, and this is the result I got. Now, here it's just a model without the texture. If you have used Bledner before, you know that we have to add the texture after completing the basic model. Now, this is the basic 3D model, and I'm gonna click this texture option. Let's generate it as well. Okay, cool, it only took two several minutes, and I was able to convert this image into a 3D model. Now I'm gonna use this image generating feature to create an AI character for a game, and I'm gonna convert it into a 3D model. Okay, this prompt has all the details to generate my character. And the good thing is, we are using Nano Banana Pro to create this image. The aspect ratio I selected was the vertical aspect ratio. And let's see the results. Okay, we have four different images for our model. This second image is what I was actually looking for. It looks amazing. Now I'm gonna click this image to the 3D option to directly convert this into a 3D model. Okay, perfect. All the features are there, and now it's time to add the texture to it. The process is really simple. Just click this texture option, and it's gonna take several seconds to complete. Looks like the 3D model is done. Okay, this is actually better than the previous car model. I think it's because the image that we used for the car is not high quality image, but this image was good in terms of quality. So I think that's why this 3D model is amazing. Now I wanna try something. What if we use the prompt directly to create the 3D object instead of creating an image first? So let's go to the text to 3D feature, and I'm gonna add the prompt here, and let's generate the 3D model. Okay, this was the final results I got. This is amazing. The only issue is that this one doesn't hold a gun. So my advice is, if your model is complex and has smaller details, always first generate an image and then convert it into a 3D model. Now I'm gonna show you the most mind-blowing thing, which is animating your 3D models. Yeah, you heard it right. Using this tool, you can easily animate the characters or any 3D object. I can't wait to show you how to do that. Okay, for this, I'm going to use this 3D model I created. So all you need to do is click this Animate option. Now you need to go with this option called Rig, and this is really important. First, you need to set this poly count to the highest number. It's basically the number of polygon faces your 3D model will have. 
The higher the number, the better the animation quality will be. If you were doing 3D modeling, you know how that works, right? And I'm gonna select the topology as quad, and let's remesh this model so that we can animate it. Once it's completed, you will come to this page. And as you can see here, you need to select what type of character you are animating. So my character is a humanoid character, so let's go with that. And here we have a good example and a bad example. Now, if you take a look at this good example, it's a perfectly symmetrical character. Now, make sure to use a character reference like this to animate it. If not, the animation would be like this. Yeah, it sucks. So after that, you need to adjust your character so that this green line is in the middle of your character. Make it as symmetrical as possible. Using these buttons, you can rotate your model. Next, you need to place these markers in the correct places. Use this reference model to place these markers. Normally, it's automatically placed in the correct places, but sometimes it can be messy, so make sure to make it perfect. And that's it. Now your 3D model is ready to animate. This walking animation is absolutely perfect, and we have like tons of different actions and animations, and you can easily use those by just clicking the animation you want. I'm gonna try this first animation, it's doing a kick, it's amazing. Just like this, you can add any animation you want for your 3D model. Let's see some of these cool animations. Okay, okay, this is a cool animation. Oh, well, what do we have here? Some zesty dance by here? That's crazy. I don't know what he is doing at this point. Okay, now this is a crybaby emote, and it doesn't seem bad. Okay, now he is using a bow and arrow, but where are the arrows? Okay, this is a failed jump, and it's really good. Okay, what the? I don't even want to talk about it. However, this is absolutely perfect. Just like this, you can easily animate your models as well. Once you are done with your projects, you can easily download them, or you can import them to wherever you need. If you are using Blender to make 3D models, or the Unreal or Unity engine to develop games, you can use these models on them. So, Basically, this AI is going to save your time and boost your work 100 times better. If you have never tried something like this, I would recommend you guys to try it. After all, it's a new skill, and I really would love to know what your thoughts on this tool are. So, make sure to drop a comment. And I hope this video was helpful, and you learned some valuable information about a new AI tool. I will see you guys in the next video.